What's going on, family? It's the motivator, educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Gamecock News update. Today, we're speaking about five former Gamecocks who just had NFL Combine, and they're looking to have their names called on the NFL Draft Day in April. And we're going to talk about them. But before I go any further, here's what I need you to do. One of three things. Yes, one, like the video. It helps YouTube a lot. Let people know that you're feeling it. So all you can do, stop and like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel. Need more subscribers. And also hit the notification bell. Like, you know, every time I drop a video. And also check out the Patreon. Um, that helps support the channel. Or have or hit the Super Chat, whatever you feel like. Um, but the link will be in the description below. But like I said, that's five game cops that we'll be talking about. So we're going to discuss all five game cops to say the least. So, the first game cock in particular we're going to do is, is Darius Rush. Excuse me. Darius Rush. Uh, hometown, he's on King Street, South Carolina, right? They have him listed as a, a traits or uh, talent to be an above average backup. That's crazy. They His next gen stats is 76, which is good. Uh, production score 71. He ranks around 15th. As far as cornerbacks, his athleticism score is about 82, about ninth, and his uh, overall score is 76, right? So his uh, 40-yard dash is 4.36, his 10-yard split, 1.51, vertical jump, 35 inches, broad jump, 10.1 inches. Uh, so I'll read his, his, his overall real quick. Two years started at cornerback as the move for wide receiver in his red shirt freshman season. Rush is big, long, and physical. He struggles to stay connected with routes from both press and cover off coverage, but could improve with more technical work. He will never have the short area foot quickness to mirror and match routes, but has impressive ball skills to disrupt the catch when he is in position. Right, so his strength is possession, NFL caliber, size, and length. Uh, quickly crowds outside release to the boundary, plays to his size when challenged the throw, partitions off the catch area for trail position, attacks deep throws with timing and accuracy, and productive tackler on punts and cover team. So let's talk about his weakness compared to these NFL uh, analysts. They said struggles to match release due to elongated steps. Gives ground when chasing vertical routes. Below average stop-stop fluidity. Uh, hip talk tightness prevents smooth transitions and is unable to hang with multiple breaking routes. So that's crazy. They said that he can be an above or average backup. So Darius Rush had a really good season at uh, South Carolina as far as career. Uh, so let's keep going. Zach Pickens, right, from Anderson. Uh, they say he's a good backup with the potential to develop to a starter. Wow. His average is 67, so which is average. His production score is 63, which ranks 13th in the defensive tackles. His athletic score is 74th, ranks uh, ninth in defensive tackles. His overall score is 67. So he's running around about, you know, the, the pack when it comes to his overall score. His uh, com combine uh, results, 4.89. Uh, for the 40, 1.74 for the 10-yard split, a broad jump, a vertical jump, excuse me, 30 inches, broad jump, 9.8, uh, and then they do the three-cone drill, 7.45 seconds, the 20-yard shuttle, 4.62 seconds, and the bench, 22 reps. Yep. So let's read about his overall. Athletic interior defender with experience with long as a gap control tackler, but the quickness and play traits that might be better suited to attacking Upfield, Pickens has a destructive first step that creates advantages for him as both a run defender and a pass rusher. He plays with harmonious hands and feet to elude blockers and play off them, but he's likely to get moved around in the NFL dry blockers. Pickens has the ability to play both tackle spots in a one gapping front and has a rotational value with the potential to see starter reps. Wow. Above average arm length with quick hands, early recognition and response to the uh, blocking scheme, ability to separate and maintain balance throughout contact, one gap athleticism and foot quickness, work suddenly off blocks to tackle his gaps, winning first step quickness in his rush, ties long arm move with counter steps to open pathways to the pocket, keeps feet and hands active throughout the rush charge. So his weakness is uh, average frame, below average arch anchor as two gaps, uh, gives initial gap to quality drive blockers, 
unlikely to crank up an NFL caliber bull rush and elevate pad levels when his rush redirects. So they got him as a potential starter. So Zach Pink is probably get drafted. Let's keep going. Cam Smith, um, which probably has the highest level as far as uh, draft probability. They said eventually will become an average starter, right? His stats is 85 is good, right? He's from Blythe West. All these boys from South Carolina, 6'1", 180. Um, his production score is 80. His athleticism score is 83. His total score is 85. So he ran a 4.4340, which is good. 1.4910 yard split. 38 uh, vertical jump. 11.2 broad jump. Let's read about my man uh, Cam Smith. Long outside cornerback and extended eyes to the ball skills to consistently close on throws when in position. Smith lacks fluidity and acceleration to consistently consistently uh, press and run with speedy downfield targets. Also, he gives ground in his lateral uh, transitions. However, he's highly anticipatory with the vision and route recognition to shine from coverage, allowing him to play with his eyes and feet forward. While his timing length can be for minimal weapons or contested catches, he often fails to move his feet quickly enough to transition and ends up grabbing receivers, leading to penalties. Smith appears to be better suited for the zone coverage and off man, but if he can trust his technique, he might become more scheme diverse and develop to CB2. Remember, uh, Cam Smith and uh, um, J.C. Horn was in that backfield for a while. Uh, so his strength plays with anticipation from off coverage, rock solid on the ball production during his career, reads quarterback and receivers consistently, concurrently to jump the throw, uh, spur, springing, plant and trigger steps from his pedal, maintain fill for route directions when in fades, using length and timing to alter catch his success from trail position, attacks ball, not man, with downhill angles on the throw, Excellent job of limiting Yak for uh, wide receiver Jalen Hyatt in the win over Tennessee. So it's weaknesses, right? Uh, sticky feet rarely matches press release cleanly. Sluggish lateral transition open door for separation. Takes foot off the gas when turning to locate the ball. Long speed looks to be average. Drew 10 penalties and flags and 22 per PFF. Uh, default, the the the. the the defaulted to grabbing instead of using proper footwork. Running support don't appear to be a high priority. Ouch. So who? Okay. So he looks like to be maybe I think around one guy. Um. So Cam Smith and we got uh Javon Gwynn, which is from Charlotte, the highly rated. I think he was a five star at the time. Uh, running back. I mean. Not running back, excuse me, offensive lineman. They said average backup or a special team. Ooh. So that means he's not going to really be ranked that high, right? Uh, he ranked 50 score production uh, for guards as 14th. Athletism 64 to 16. So he had an average of 60, which is right around the pack. His five, his 40 yard dash 5.12, 10 yard split 1.8, vertical jump 27.5, broad jump 9.1, uh, three cone drill 70. Point nine seconds, twenty yard shuttle, four point eight, bench press, thirty four reps. Right. Let's read his uh, overview. Gwen is a solid football player, but has lacked a size and length, and a major hindrance related to staying at guard. He likely needs to prove he can snap and play center, where he will still be considered undersized. He is a tremendous run blocker who can op- operate. In multiple schemes, but may not be able to shine in any of them. Gwen plays with a firm base and a good body control and protection, but lacks the length and the range to consistently protect gaps. Gwen will be a one positional player, but he has enough talent and technique to compete for a roster spot at center. Right, so he's a four-year starter and well-respected teammates. Adequate first-step quickness in zone and pull blocker. Uh, plays under his pass with a body control. Hand strength and foot movement to stay connected to blocks. Very firm when standing up to power rushes. Able 
uh, to open his hips and slide to recover in pass sets. So his weakness is he's undersized with short arms, unable to move bodies around as he as a drive blocker, will struggle to keep big guys from crossing his face, not enough range to protect wideness ra- rush gaps. Short arms allow rushes <laughs> to work around his pass mirrors. So they got him as a average backup or a special team. Not again. This is not something that you can look at and say, hey, this is what these people are going to be. This is something that they kind of uh, see. So our last person we're going to talk about is Jalen Brooks. Um, he's a senior. Uh, so they got Jalen Brooks as average backup or a special team. They got him in the below average column. Mm. Uh, so his production is 50th. That's 49th as far as wide receivers. His athleticism is uh, 56, which is dead last almost. His combine ranking is 52. It's 50th. Right? His 40-yard dash was 4.69. It's not fast at all, guys. Um, his splits, 1.56. His vertical jump, 3.35. His broad jump, 10.10. His uh, three cone drill, 7.15. His shuttle, 4.31. So, Brooks began his collegiate career at Wingate University in 2018, scoring four times in 12 games played as a true freshman. The former Hick Ridge High School star started 11 or 12 appearances in 2019 uh, before a transition to uh, Tar- uh, Tarleton State the following semester. He never played at Tarleton. Transferred again to South Carolina for the 2020 season, but the NCAA did not grant him eligibility until his fifth game of that year. Brooks started four of six games played that season um, and the first six games uh, of 2021 before leaving the program for personal reasons. He returned to the team in the summer of 2022 and ended up starting 12 games for the Gamecocks. Um, one received, so yeah, he had like, wow but did not play in the Gator Bowl against Notre Dame because of the off-field issues. Wow. Brooks was not guaranteed eligibility for the NCAA until his fifth game of 2020, and he stepped away from the team um, for the second half of 21. Those missed games helped explain his limited collegiate production, but his 2022 game field when he started 12 games failed to stand out, which is true. However, his his player strength and ball skills are clearly noticeable on tape. He's a high cut, laggy route runner with uh who struggles to over um maneuver coverage getting in and out of breaks. But he's highly competitive on fifty fifty balls. Also he has a run after catch talent to have his moments in the open field. He has enough ability to work his way on into the NFL locker room. Maybe it's a practice squad guy or he may get a uh, a uh undrafted deal where he gets a camp deal. So his strength is favorable band of size and strength. Uh strong hands, holds ball skills, stand out, high point and gloves, the football with extension, ability and athleticism to pick up throws off his back hip, adjust speed to keep deep balls on target, competitive comp- Com, yeah, competitive once the ball is in his hands, uh, speed to get away on crosses, and power to finish his runs. His weakness is marginal production in South Carolina, including just two receiving touchdowns in 24 games, ineffective footwork, and releasing against press. Outside release can be roadblocked by athletic press, high cut laggy when trying to undercover underneath, upright with sluggish change of direction in his routes, Occasionally imbalanced before and after the catch, right? So that's it, man. Um, wow. I know this was a lot, but I want to kind of cover some of these guys. And hopefully, man, we get to see some of these guys in the NFL. Uh, my thoughts is that, I don't know, I'm not an NFL draft. So uh, I read you what the NFL is saying. Now it's the NFL's choice to try to see if they're going to get these pick up. Do you think these guys are going to get picked up? Please write in the comment section below. Get us the entertainer, motivator, educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray, man. Check the Patreon if you haven't. Also, like and subscribe if you didn't. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Black like always. Until next time, people.